Hello everybody, my name is Doomfish, in today's episode of the Redstone Toolbox, I'm going to be talking about the target block that was introduced in Minecraft 1.16. So this block, as you can imagine, it functions just like a target would, um, and that might be a little sort of not clear to you, but I'll explain that in just a moment, and it also has some other functions worth talking about. But first up, let's talk about how you make one of these target blocks. All it takes is one hay bale in the center, and then some redstone dust around it, like so, and we get our target block out here. So what a target block does is whenever you hit it with a projectile, like for example an arrow, you'll see that it'll give off a redstone pulse that can light up or power other components. Now something interesting is that the closer that you get to the center of the target here, the longer a pulse comes out. So hit right at the center, we can see that we get a 14 tick pulse. If you hit right on the very, very center, which is actually pretty hard to do even from up close, you will get a 15th length pulse. Now if you hit at the very edge, you can get a one length pulse just like that, and then somewhere in the middle, you'll get, as you can imagine, somewhere in the middle. Here's a setup where whoever's shooting at this target block has to hit in the very center of the bullseye to get an output out here. All it is is a comparator facing out of this into whatever output you have, in this case a redstone lamp, and to the side there's a comparator with a redstone block behind it. So go ahead and fire into this. Hopefully that did not hit the bullseye apparently. A um, couple more tries, there we go. That one hit right in the bullseye, and we can see we get a pulse off here. Now if you want to make it so where the player has to hit maybe like we can have it to where the player has to hit a couple blocks away from the bullseye or at the bullseye, so I have to hit like at least a 13 power here. We should see that even if we like miss the bullseye a little bit, we should still get it. Like that wasn't a perfect bullseye, that should have been like a 14 tick one. Um, but again, if you hit at the very edge, it won't do anything. So in addition to the standard bow, you can also hit these target blocks with something like a trident, it'll fire, you can hit them with an egg or a snowball, pretty much any projectile. Um, you can also use firework rockets to hit uh, some target blocks in the air. You can even use ender pearls. You can use splash potions. You can use any of the projectiles fired by a mob, so even something like a llama spit or an arrow from a skeleton. And you can even use some fire charges from a dispenser. In addition, you can also use a firework rocket and you can fly into it with an elytra, but this will hurt you a lot if you're in survival, so it's kind of hard to do. You just fly into it, throw some firework rockets, and it was pretty hard to see, but I think I might have gotten an output. It's pretty inconsistent, but that is something interesting to do with it, is if you do it properly, you should be able to just fly into this with a firework rocket and have this redstone lamp go off. Now something interesting about target blocks is it'll actually turn a redstone line away from where it normally would go. So right now it's pointing straight. If we put a block at the end here, we can see that it actually turns into the left, despite the fact that this is just a normal solid block that doesn't have any mechanism components when it's powered. Nothing here is going to happen, I mean you can't really transfer anything, it just functions as a solid block when it's not being hit by a projectile. Now what's interesting about this is if we have something like a sticky piston here that doesn't do this, we can see that, at least in the Java edition, this won't get powered. Now we can also put one here and see that even though if the target block wasn't here, we can see a sticky piston doesn't get powered. When we place the target block here, then we can see that the sticky piston actually won't get powered. So here's a very basic setup for a sort of toggleable um, wire setup here, where normally, since this piston's in the off state, we can fire this button and this piston will get flicked on and off whenever we do it. And then we can go ahead and flick this lever and see that this will actually change the state of this uh, redstone line right here. And when we press the button, the piston doesn't activate. Now something you do have to keep in mind is that this actually sort of works as a sort of bud detector, which you don't know what that is. It's a block update detector. It's basically fancy redstone magic. So despite what we just saw earlier about the fact that if we have this open and we fire this, then this piston will actually not extend. If we go ahead and flick this off without turning this off and without changing the pulse, despite the fact that this is on and it should, by all intents and purposes, be powered, it's not. What we have to do is give it a block update, which can be done through a couple of different ways. So one of the ways it's very common is we can just place another block beside it, like so, and we can see that it'll just sort of magically power. We can do the same thing with the reverse of the setup, so right now it's powered when it should be unpowered, and if we place just a normal solid block beside it, we can see that it will depower itself, or it will de-extend itself. So another use of this is to actually compact the redstone that we're already using. So here I've got two setups that basically do the same thing, it's basically a redstone line curving into a block with a torch on the edge, but with this block, if we get rid of this piece of redstone dust, we can see that flicking the lever does nothing to this torch. So to fix that, we will have to end up placing some redstone dust on top, which sort of, if we want to place a component up here, will sort of get in the way of things. But with the target block, all we have to do is really just right-click this, and we only need these two pieces of redstone here, because it'll just curve right into the solid block right here. 
So just to review, the target block can be shot by any projectile, and the closer you get to the bullseye, or the center of the target block, the longer the output in redstone dust is. Also, it can be used as a solid block that will orient redstone dust to point towards it instead of pointing in whatever direction it normally would. So that's going to do it for today's episode of the Redstone Toolbox. I hope you enjoyed or found it informative, and if you did, don't be afraid to leave a like, and you can subscribe for more content just like this in the future, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.